they say that if you're using a balanced antenna, you should be using a balanced antenna coupler. But is that the case? In this video, I'll compare a balanced antenna coupler that you've seen before and an L-match using a balanced tune feeder dipole. I'll transmit whisper tests and compare signal reports to see if there's any difference in performance between the two antenna couplers. If the simple L-match works as well as the larger balance coupler, then tune feeder dipoles will be more attractive. You'll be able to get multi-band performance with this type of antenna, but with a smaller coupler. The homemade feed line is about 8 metres long. The top will be nearly 20 metres from end to end. Unfortunately, I didn't get any reports on 10 or 7 megahertz, possibly due to issues with the WhisperNet website. The results are clear, at least based on signal reports. There seems to be no advantage in using a balanced antenna coupler with a balanced antenna versus using the unbalanced coupler with the antenna. Please let me know in the comments below if you've tried similar experiments using an unbalanced coupler with a balanced antenna and the results you got. I'm not going to tell you to throw away your balanced coupler, just to say that if you've got a balanced antenna, why not try an unbalanced coupler? You might be surprised at the results you get.